Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I've made up my mind here that it's time. Look, we can never seem to find any layers for sale in town, any layer chicks. And they're expensive anyway. The last ones that I saw were the ones that we bought. And they were 80 pesos a piece. So, I've made up my mind that the only way that we're going to replenish this flock, realistically, is to hatch our own. Now I don't have a small incubator and we don't get enough eggs uh, to justify uh, the large incubator and um, we've only got one rooster and there's like 14 hens, 14, 13, 14, 15, something like I don't remember, something like that. Anyway, uh, with only one rooster with that many hens not all the eggs are going to be fertile that are laid so to solve that problem i've decided that we're going to move the rooster and the four uh, uh, these are some kind of a leghorn cross they have a name for them here but it's just a number uh, they just everyone just calls them layers they they're similar they they look in appearance just like a leghorn and those are typically egg layers so, and we have four of those, or five, I can't, there's, I can't remember exactly how many we have. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, well I guess we've got six of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, well, we don't, he can't, uh, he can't even handle that many, so, um, three six eight we've got eight of those hens i had bought i think i bought ten and eight survived i think i'm remembering correctly so uh, what we're going to do is take that rooster and he can because look if he was a dual purpose breed he could handle up to six hens and and you would have a a uh, pretty good chance that the eggs would be fertile uh, from those six hens because he's a native rooster and I raised uh, something close to native roosters before in the states they can comfortably handle three to four three usually four eh, um, is pushing it we're gonna push it so I'm gonna move him and four hens into this uh, enclosed area here uh, which has this finer screen on it uh, to keep the chicks, any chicks that hatch, in this pen. So they can't get out here with the rest of the chickens and get their uh, tiny little butts keep, kicked and uh, get out the, the two inch squares we have in the main screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this old uh, chick brooder in half and mount it in here right there and I make some kind of a little roost in here and we'll uh, set it in there and collect the eggs for a couple days uh, but then just start leaving them and when we get up a dozen or so one of these native hens here who just do nothing but want to sit uh, this little girl here is sitting you can see she doesn't want to abandon these eggs and you can see they're they're all white the leg horns are the ones that are laying um this girl down here also is sitting on well she's only there's only four eggs here as well um sometimes if you move a hen that's sitting on eggs and just move her and her eggs to another nest about half the time she will say okay all right well here's where i'm sitting and half the time she'll abandon the nest. Um, so since we've always got, we've got two, we've got those two native hens there and another one here, that black one. And then these little crossed, these are Kabir uh, crosses. So we, we always have hens that are setting, and it's no need to just let, let them, quote, unquote, go to waste. So 
I'm going to set up a laying box in here and like in three or four days when we get a dozen eggs in there we're going to move one of these hens in there and see if she will take that nest and we will hatch out our own uh, replacements here uh, for this flock. And hopefully at some point we can get up to like the 100, 100 chicken flock, which I would like, and which we can, uh, because of the supplements we're giving them with the can colony, that's the leafy green stuff that's laying around in there, um, that we can offset the cost of the feed, because layer feed is really expensive. And of course we would have to expand this area here at some point, because this isn't big enough really big enough for a hundred chickens it's big enough for probably 30 or 40 but we'd have to we'd have to expand probably that way um to accommodate the new larger flock and that's okay uh, there's nothing there but a couple of banana trees that would have to be uh, moved and if all we did was widen this from say that uh, I think that's a Tupelo tree from that tree uh, down that way to the end of this pen uh, that would make this pen about a third larger half again larger than what it is and we wouldn't have to take down any major trees so and we wouldn't have to take out the bananas so um, we wouldn't need um, that much more chain link because we could reuse this here uh, as the as the long portion we just need to replace the ends and put a little more net up uh, an easy expansion and it would be a bit of a chore to get this out of the ground because I've buried it in the ground to keep the dogs from being able to dig under it <coughs> but it would make this pen about a third bigger maybe half well maybe a third but um, it's way underutilized for the amount of chickens that we have so uh, a flock of about a hundred would would work just fine in, in a pen that size so that's going to be kind of the plan so first things first is to actually get the breeding operation going and get our rooster right there separated with some of those leghorn hens and you might be asking well why leghorn hens well why the leghorn hens and not any of the others? Because the primary objective here is going to be to have more layers. Because we uh, can easily sell the eggs and we eat a lot of eggs. And to have a, a more self-sustaining farm and a bit of income to offset the cost of the feed, uh, hopefully all the feed, all the cost of the feed, and that the eggs that we eat would just be basically quote unquote free. Um, that's why we would use the leghorns and they would only end up being half uh, half the leghorn half native and so they won't lay quite as much as uh, one of these purebred quote-unquote leghorns but they'll lay many more than uh, the native hens and they probably won't be quite so broody these native hens God bless them they lay 15 or 20 eggs and then that's what they do they sit on them uh, so while we still have those hens uh, we're going to start using them while we still have a variety uh, some that are prone to laying and some that are prone to sitting well we're going to utilize both and uh, get this chicken expansion going all right well there it is got that saw on another input on it some straw put in it got them a uh, water hooked up here and even have two of the hens that I need in here trapped I'll come down at dark and hopefully I'll just be able to uh, pick them off of their roost here and set them in there get that rooster and uh, two or three more hens and just get them transferred
and then once these ladies here once I get a dozen or so in there I'll I'll move one of these girls actually I'll move them both over in there and whichever one wants to volunteer to set the eggs that'll be in there uh, she gets the gold star So hopefully, a couple months from now, we've got a new batch of our own homegrown little chicks here. That's the that's the hope, anyway. If you can't get there one way, you get there another. And so, since we can't buy them, we'll just make our own, or try to, anyway. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.